And if you turn in your Bibles to the book of Psalms, chapter 1, I want to talk to you a few minutes and read some stuff for you. I'm hoping it'll be a blessing to you. And if, uh, if uh, the Lord can help me a little bit while I can read some wonderful scriptures to you this morning. It's a, it's a wonderful it's a wonderful time, and uh, I uh, I enjoy it so much when the Lord blesses. Amen. Uh, you just don't uh, you don't get that every day. Uh, you just don't get it, and uh, but when you do get it, you better chew it good because uh, it's it's uh, the Lord speaking to you. But in chapter one of the book of Genesis. Genesis, the book of Psalms, I'm sorry. Uh, David is uh, starting his writing here, and he is led by the uh, inspiration of God. And I know he is because he was uh, he was loved by God, and God in, uh, told him these words to say through the Holy Spirit, I'm sure. And uh, all of it, all of it is about uh, a lot of it is about blessed, being blessed, being blessed. And we this morning as God's people are blessed. Amen. And we do not appreciate it like we should. Right. We do not uh, understand it like we should. Uh, but every once in a while, you know, we get a, a little feeling of it. And the Holy Spirit comes in and speaks to our hearts and and says this and says that to us and it opens up our eyes and we understand more clearly the blessings of the Lord. Amen. And uh, the, the psalmist says here starting out in, in, in chapter 1 and verse, and verse 1, blessed. <clears throat> and this blessed is the key to the key word to the, to the, to the service, to the lesson this morning and to the Actually, the whole book of Psalms, he speaks of being blessed all through it. But he says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. Now, this morning, uh, he's talking to you and to I that are saved. And he's saying this morning, you're blessed. You're blessed, you're blessed because that you're not partaking with the sins of this world, even though your body loves it and your body wants to partake of it, you spiritually are not taking a part with it. You're not abiding with those uh, sinful people. You're not loving the devil's works. You're blessed. Amen. He says this morning here uh, that the man that walketh not in the counsel or the uh, warnings of the uh, of, of, of ungodly people, and he says, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Now, here is a big thing this morning to me, and it's a it's a very dangerous, dangerous situation of standing in the way of sinners. Mm -hmm. And we this morning sometimes say things, do things, act ways that we interfere with a person understanding the love of God. And we so many times need the Holy Spirit's to talk to our hearts, uh, even God's chastisement for doing these things because a person can stand in the way of another person, even his, the one that he loves the most in the world. He can stand in his way and not really sometimes realize it, that he's standing in the way of that person. And he can cause that person to stray, he can cause that person to uh, back off and not love the Lord Jesus Christ. He right. understand the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a dangerous situation. So David, it says here, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful or the mockers are taking place with other people to mock people. And listen, you know, that used to be really a big thing for the young people. They would, uh, a bunch of the young people would mock you and say, oh, he's He's little goody goody. He's going down to the church. Listen, that, that, those words hurt, mm -hmm. and they are scornful. They are hurtful words. But after a person gets old, older, and learns and, and things like this, it's not as not as hurtful. 
But the thing it is, of it is, be careful this morning with young people, young Amen. ones, because they're so tender-hearted. They're like they're so tender-hearted that the least little thing offends them, and they look to their parents and they look to their friends for guidance and love. And sometimes we need to be very careful how that we act around them, how we joke with them, how we uh, do things to them, because it can it can interfere with them. And so here is what he's talking about here: nor sitteth in the uh, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So he says here, but his delight, his delight, his, uh, uh, the greatness of the, of the thing is in the law of God. Of, for his delight, for he, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And Amen. this morning, uh, I, I want to encourage everybody this morning to meditate, to think upon, to study God's word, listen to pray for, during the day, and ask the leadership of the Lord because if you're sincere in this, he'll help you with it, especially when you when you have time and, and take, and I, I try to have a time in the day uh, and, and I go to a, a little place and I read and I study and I look and I pray and I study. And listen, so many times, so many blessings come to my way. Yes. I, and, and, and looking at God's word and hey, there's things that comes open to me and it just blesses my heart. And I, I need it, and Lord, I can praise the Lord all day for the things. And it's because he delights my soul. Amen. And this is what David is talking about here this morning. So he says in verse, I want to go back to verse 1, just a minute here. He says, blessed, and this blessed, uh, holy, sacrifice, blissful, beautiful, is some of the identifying words of being blessed or blessed. And he says here this morning, that he, he, these are some of the beautiful things that he's talking about. Blessed or beautiful or, or sacred is the man that walketh in the counsel of the ungodly. And so this morning, as we see these things, you know, we look at God as being the sacred, uh, a sacred being. Listen, God looks on us the same way as we look on him when we're right because, and we're in his will. He is pleased with us. He's He's, he's happy with us, and he considers us in his will, and we're, we're, we're a praise to him. And, and, and we, this morning, need to understand that it is a back and forth thing with you and God. God, God does not frown at anything you do if, if you try to do it for him. And listen, we this morning need to be more in tune with God and get more directions from him and understand what he wants us to do this morning. Because Amen. a lot of times, a lot of times the devil gets into our life and he stirs and he stirs and he and he tears. And listen, uh, we get to thinking sometimes, well, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? I don't know what to believe in this. I don't want to believe in that. But listen, when you get down here and you get into this word and you concentrate on it and you pray to the Lord, listen, he'll take away those doubts. He'll Amen. Take away that that uncertainty about things and he'll show you he'll show you who he really is and he'll show you that you have the holy spirit here with you now listen a lot of people and i've mentioned this before about the holy spirit so many people don't understand how the holy spirit works and how how he presents himself to us but listen he comes into our heart and he speaks to our soul. And listen, if you'll listen, if you'll just bear with him and listen to it and, and, and obey what he says and pray to God to, to, for more, listen, he'll bless your heart. Amen. Anything that you can ever do. And you can be so happy uh, in, the, in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So Amen. again here, I want to I I go through this one more time because there are so many things here. Now, and, and he says here, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council. And so many people are walking in, 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 a, in a situation and they're taking they're, they're, they're taking part in things that don't need to be don't need to happen. Amen. And they think that they're 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 doing right 
actually because there's so many false counselors out here Amen. this morning that they don't know for sure some of these people don't know for sure what they're doing and they don't understand what they're doing they have a desire and a way to uh, uh imitates uh, a christian or something but they don't know what's going on and so here he's saying this this morning if we have an opportunity to to help one of these people and, and the lord knows I, I have the opportunity from time and time and time again to be a witness uh, I mean, the Lord lets people come in and I get a chance to witness to them and I try to be a witness to them and I want to be a witness to them and I fail so miserably sometimes and I go away saying, well, I could have done this or I could have said that. But listen, this morning, just like I get up here and try to teach a Sunday school class and I get to bum puzzled and messed up and everything and I go away like a whoop dog. But let me tell you something. The Lord uses what he has. Amen. He uses it. He uses it for his honor and for his glory. And listen, he can take an old dirty rag and clean it up for that it'll be a righteous rag. Amen. Because listen, he said in his word here this morning that our sins was as righteous as, as dirty as old, old filthy rags. And listen, he can cleanse that rag, he can cleanse that word, he can straighten that word out, he can put it into the ear of the one, of the heart of the one, and make him understand what that he wants it to hear. Amen. And listen, he can that that word, even though, and, and the devil will come to you and say, well, that's the craziest thing you ever said in your life. And, and listen, you get to think about it. Well, I guess it was. But the thing of it is, listen, don't give up on God. Amen. Don't give up on the Holy Spirit. Don't give up on yourself. Because listen, you're his. And here he says, you're blessed. Amen. And if you're blessed, listen, something good is going to come from you. And it may be that you don't realize what you're what you're doing, but the thing of it is, the Lord uses you as his servant. And it's just like we go out here and use a, a, a shovel to dig a hole. We use that shovel to keep that dirt out of the hole. And the, the Lord uses you to present his word to other people and regardless of how it's said or how it's per, per, pronounced or what. Listen, he has a way of straightening that crooked thing out. Mm -hmm. He has a way of letting it go into that ear and to do his will, what he has to say. Because if you have a desire this morning, people, to help people and you're ashamed because you can't talk, well, don't worry about it. Don't don't get don't get no flurry about it because listen, God is the final the, the final say of whatever comes out of your mouth. Amen. Uh, and, if, and if it's coming out before foolish people that want to be foolish, it'll be foolish. But listen to me this morning, if he if God wants it to come out as a as a uh, a, a work to, for our uh, um, uh, a uh, help to them in any way. It'll come out that way. Amen. And so this morning he said, we're blessed in this. Now notice here again in, in this uh, in this little scripture here, but he says, but in verse two, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Now the law of the Lord is uh, or Lord, the Lord of righteousness. He, he's, his, his delight is to serve the Lord. Your delight is to serve the Lord. My delight is to serve to, to serve the Lord. Now listen, if you deny if you deny that it's a if it if you deny that it's a delight to serve God and a delight for you to tell someone about the Lord Jesus Christ or to tell them about what's going to happen after death or whatever that's concerning their soul. Listen, you're 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 just a little shade to uh to backward mm -hmm. listen you need you need to understand this morning that you're that old shovel mm -hmm. and listen it don't make no difference what kind of ground that shovel has to dig in whether it's rock or if it's soft dirt or if it's mud or if it's mar or if it's muck listen the the man that's using this shovel he just shows it right down and shows it out and it's the same way with us this morning he uses us to go to those that will cross us will slap us will beat us will uh smile at us and we use he uses us for that and so when we have an opportunity to say something to someone we need to say it Amen. and uh i'd say uh, uh it's the devil will say i'll oh, shut up don't say nothing about that to him you know how he is 
Well, that's the reason why you should say something. Amen. Because that's the way he is. And so here again in verse 3, notice here, and he talking about those that are blessed and those that are uh, in the will of the Lord, and he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now listen to me this morning, people. He says that whatsoever he shall do, shall prosper. Amen. Now you can put that in your in your book, write it down in your book and keep it because listen, that's exactly what it means. Yeah. If you're blessed, if you're saved, if you're serving the Lord, you can anything that you try to do, it'll prosper if it's in the will of the Lord and, and pleasing to the Lord. So don't and I wanna I I, I wanna show you something over in the in the book of Gen I believe it's in Genesis uh, 39. I want to read you something about Joseph. Jew in, in, thir in uh, chapter 39 and 1. Look, look. In verse 39 of, of Genesis, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's captain of the guards and the Egyptians, brought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. Talking about Joseph, and the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian, and his master saw that he, that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. Now, people, this morning, people are watching you. Amen. People are watching you. And listen, people are seeing that God is prospering you. And listen, when you when you see that and when you understand that and when people uh, say something to that, it opens up a gate to you that's wide as a, as a barn door mm -hmm. and that you can say, hey, this is why he prospers me is because I serve him and because I do things for the, that is pleasing to him. And this is why this morning that Joseph was in the plans of God and, 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 and everything that he did uh, was prospered by God. And so uh, Joseph in verse four it says, and Joseph found grace in his sight and Amen. he served him and he made him overseer over his house and all that he had, he put into his hands. And so this morning, this morning, and of course we see we see that the devil in the, in this situation, and we know that Joseph uh, uh, got into some trouble, and he was he was hoodwinked, and and, and he, it was a it was a lie from the beginning from Potiphar's wife. But the thing of it is, he, you see the end results of it. He still got out, and he was he was second in command over all of Egypt. Amen. And he took care of his family. He got he got that because, and that's prospering. And listen, this morning we prosper when we can take care of our family. We prosper when we can tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. And and that's that's our responsibility this morning is to tell our family and our loved ones and our brothers and sisters and our friends and listen, even to our men enemies, we need to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so here again we see here that he, he gives us this this promise that he shall be planted, he shall be planted like a, a, a tree planted by the rivers of water. And I, again, I wanted you to see something in Psalms 92, and I'll, I'll try to get over and read that to you. In Psalms 92, 12, I want, I want you to hear this. Psalms 92, 12, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree, he shall grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Amen. And they shall they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Amen. Praise the Lord. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. Amen. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. And this is David talking here, and notice here he says in verse 3 of our lesson, and he shall be like the tree, that's us, 
the tree planted by the water. And listen, the tree, the tree that is planted there by God, sitting in that place, he says he's, it's going to be planted. Listen, when that tree gets old and old and old and old, it's going to still produce fruit. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be out here saying, praise the Lord, and try to be a help to anybody you can, and try to tell someone about the Lord Jesus Christ and what it takes for uh, salvation and how he can be uh, saved and these things like that we that they need to know because listen uh not everybody that comes along can tell you that claims to be a, a church member or a preacher or whatever they can tell you something but a lot of times it's not true right but here he says he, this man is going to be planted by the river uh, of, of water and bringing brings forth his fruit in his seasons and his leaves also shall not wither He's not going to get faded. He's not going to, the sun's not going to wilt him. The, 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 the country, the, the people, the sinners are not going to wither him away and cause him to fall down and to bow and all this. But he's, he's going to stay nourished with full of sap. He's going to be strong even in old age. And I love that. Yeah. And so listen, he says, and whatsoever he, he shall do shall prosper. And so this is an encouragement this morning, people. I hope that, that you understand by being blessed Amen. what you are entitled to. And listen, you, when you are entitled to something, it's just like you have put money into the bank and you're entitled to go over there and write a check for it and get money out. Listen, you're serving the Lord and you're blessed and you're entitled to go to him and say, Lord, I love you. I want to serve you. I need, I want something. And that's what, that's what he's talking about, being blessed. And so notice here in verse four, after we, the ungodly are not so, Amen. but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. And this thought come to me this morning, or uh, the other day, the chaff, the chaff is a type of the body of the Spirit of God. Now think with me just a minute. The chaff grows on the outside of the, the grain of wheat. All right, when they gather it, they take it, they did back then, they take and pitch it up in the air and they tromp it and pick it up in the air and the wind would blow the chaff away and the wheat would fall down into the garner. And, 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 and it's the same way this morning with us, this morning. Listen, this old body that we got is just like the chaff. And what does it say about the chaff? Well, let's see here if we can find it for just a minute here. The ungodly are like not so, but are like chaff. And what can we say about our flesh? It's ungodly. Amen. Which the wind driveth away. And listen, one of these days, death is going to take this old flesh, and it's going to, he's going to he, he's going to he's going to let it die. Mm -hmm. And this soul, the seed, this wheat, is going to go to be with the Lord. Amen. And the old chaff is going to take uh, the wind, or the, it's, the grave is going to take this old body. Throw it over in the grave, and it's going to rot. Mm -hmm. And so this morning, he's 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 using an example this morning of the chief of the chaff and the wheat. And he says it is the ungodly, the ungodly, the the thing that does not it's not edible, it's not usable in any way. It's there for that old wheat as long as it's a growing to kind of protect the, the grain of wheat. And as soon as as soon as they cut it. It falls off of it, and it's gone. And it's the same way with us this morning. We use these old bodies to protect us as long as we live and to carry us around and do what we will. But listen, when we die, we leave it. Right. And it's gone. And uh, it will decay, and it will be resurrected, a glorified body. Uh, and don't say anything about the chaff or anything like that, but it will be resurrected, and it will come together with our soul in the air and forever be a glorified, Amen. complete body in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so here he says, notice here again in verse 5, therefore the ungodly 
shall not stand in the judgment, and that is the judgment for those that are saved, for the judgment for those that the awards are, uh, the rewards are passed around, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So uh, we see for, what he's saying. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. Amen. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now, in Psalms, I want to read something to you this morning in Psalms 37 before we close. 37 1. <clears throat> in Psalms 37 1, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against uh, be, uh, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And that is something this morning that takes her hand up. Because listen, we see we see so much stuff going on with the evildoers and, and the devil comes and says, Well, you know, it's sort of like it was to eat. Hey, it surely won't it surely won't kill you. But listen, you get in you get in with them and you're gonna suffer. Amen. And here he says here, be be, neither be thou envious against workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down Amen. like the grass and withered as the green herbs. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. Amen. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires, listen, of thine heart. Now I'm assuming that he's talking about soul, and the desires of the soul is to be at home with the Lord. And now uh, if he's talking about our fleshly heart, that's the things that we need, we desire and to, to keep going. But listen, he's going to give us what we need, and he's going to give us our desires. And if we are living for Christ, we have the right desires. And so we this morning, he says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as light we need, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently, amen, for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger Amen. and forsake wrath. And again he says, Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil because he says the evil shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth, and, and he says, a little while, a little while, the wicked will be here, and a little while, people, we're going to be gone. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we can stand before the Lord and, and, and shout hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, for, throughout mm -hmm. eternity. And we can, we can, we can praise him, and we can praise him, and uh, that to me is the delight of the soul. Amen. Set and praise the Lord. And so that's our lesson this morning. And I hope that uh, you'll think upon these things. And, and, and the key thing is, is that you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. And uh, whatever the devil tells you, you can tell him, devil, it's a blessed life. <laughs> because we're unblessed. Amen. I'm blessed because I, I, I know the Lord Jesus Christ. And he knows me. And I try to serve him as best I can. And uh, I look forward every time I get an opportunity to read God's word and to praise his holy name. And I'm blessed. I, and, and, and it's more than one way. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people say, oh, you're blessed because you've got this and you've got that and you've got home and you've got that. Yeah, that's a blessing from the Lord. But listen, the greater blessing is when I can kneel down at his feet and say, praise the Lord. Amen. That's it. Thank you all so much. Amen.